morning everyone well my first video was a week ago and that was my garden update so now I'm gonna update you again on the same garden and see what we have in just a week so we're gonna start the same place we did the last time it's a little bit bright out here I hope you can see this I tried to do it a little bit earlier and I have some pruning to do and some picking these are the tomatoes let's see if I can get over here bean plants these are the yellow green beans right here and they're all in bloom these are my Ronde de Nietzsche zucchini and I have to get a little bit further back because there's bees pollinating and I'm allergic to bees so we don't want to get too close but as you can see that there's all kinds of flowers they're closing already now because it's getting into the morning um, a little bit later and it's warming up here at the beach but these were all open this morning and it just looked beautiful and I ate a flower this morning um, if you didn't know you can eat the zucchini flowers they're a delicacy in Italy um, that's my heritage I'm Italian they're beautiful especially on the Ronde de Nietzsche zucchini um, which are also called eight ball zucchini these are the extra sweet um, little zucchini that look like eight balls and if you let them get big enough they actually turn an orange color and they do get as big as small pumpkins uh, if you let them get big enough you don't want to let them get too big they're great for stuffing they're really good very very sweet different taste than a regular zucchini here's some of my radishes I did pick a lot of radishes this week and I got to start planting I'm gonna plant some beets in their place Okay, let's see if we can get in here. Got to get away from these bees. I have tons of tomatoes coming out. Tons. Um, but they're all green. They're all going to ripen all at one time. See that one right there? Let's see. That one's my heirloom. And over there, let's see. You can see a bunch of cluster tomatoes. Those are the Sungulls, the Cherry 100s. There's my little Marconis, my little Marconi peppers, the Italian sweet peppers. Those are all doing nicely. Those were started from seed. More Ronda de Nietzsche zucchini back there. We really love it here. These were all my pepper plants that were treated with the Epsom salt, magnesium. You can see um, they're all greening up. This one too. Oh, <laughs> if I move quickly, that means there's a bee. Okay, let's see. Peppers here. There's a really good pepper. There's a couple on that plant. And then the Serrano peppers. This is the first year that I've ever done Serranos. And they are, let's see if we can get it in here. They are just going crazy. There's all kinds of them on there. These are my Roma tomatoes that are going absolutely crazy. There's a bunch there. And these I make spaghetti sauce out of and I can them like I do all my tomatoes and some of the peas that still need to be planted zucchini back there got a little bit of end rot so I have to let's see if you can see that I have to cut back on these leaves a little bit like I did on the zucchini there's not enough airflow back there I think and they're not getting pollinated enough. Let's see, there's there's a couple more in there, I think, on the other side that are fine. There's some more romas. All of these romas look wonderful. They're all getting pollinated. Here's another Ronda de Nietzsche. Right here, it's little, but it's got a ton of buds on it. These are so easy to grow. Some more peas, some tomatoes. This is one of my tomato plants. Let's put it in the shade so you can see. That has buds on it. This was just a cutting. Two plants, and it's got little buds on it. Oh, we've got a tomato. Didn't even see that. We've got a little tomato on there. <clears throat> Now this is my third year, or second year, on asparagus. 
And I have another little asparagus right here. I just shot off one right here. And now I noticed this yesterday. There we go. Another one right there. I'm not supposed to pick it until the third year. And it's kind of hard I'm not picking it. I'm going to wait. This is my first year asparagus. They're just really taking off. Okay, now I haven't, I haven't picked any beans today. Let's see if we can see the beans. There are loads of beans on here again. I picked, oh gosh, since last week's video, I've picked about two pounds of green beans. Here's another one. Oops, another couple right there. These all look really good. And they are really good. We've had them for dinner several times, and I've canned a few. This plant is just doing fabulous. Here's my tomatoes. These are the Better Boy tomatoes. Here's some more Better Boys. These are Black Cherry Heirlooms. And I did not single stem this one, and I should have cut it back. I've been cutting back the, um, the branches as they form new plants and breaking them off and starting new ones. So we'll see how that goes. There's a ton of tomatoes on here. And it's getting hot here, so my spinach has bolted. My radishes over here are not doing well at all. They're bolting. I'm going to let those go to seed and then use the seed to replant. And the video that we did yesterday, I wanted to show you this. Let's put it in the shade a little bit. Okay, now these are the green onions that we did yesterday. You can see there's a little bit of growth on there already. And these are just from yesterday. See that little tip that's just coming out? that came out overnight. So if you guys are doing the green onions like I taught you yesterday, please let me know how you're doing, okay? Because these are so easy to do. Here's the other pot with the one that we had extra in there. And then I have the one in the house in the water. So easy. Okay, I'm gonna take you over here. I'm actually going to pick an onion today. This is what I was trying to get out here yesterday. This is the green onion. These started as little as we did yesterday, uh, as small. And this one right here, we're actually going to pick. Look at that. Now that's an onion. And this started just as a green onion. This is a pretty good size onion. It's a white onion. That's what I mean by saying that the green onions are just small onions. So if you let them go like this, you've got onions. Now what you do is you let this dry out a little bit, uh, usually for a week or so. And you can let it dry out in the sun, you can let it dry out in a warm place. And when you're done using it, you cut off, same thing, cut off a little bit here, replant, and you've got onions. And these are another things that, oops, I think that's, I don't know why my video is skipping. These are some of the things that um, I've got planted over here. This is some things that I picked this morning already, some radishes and some strawberries. Let's see, I'll take you over here and show you the peas. Peas are doing really good all over here, the Ronda de Nietzsche plants and they all have buds and they all have flowers. There's all my peas. My potato plant is doing really well. It's growing quickly all of a sudden. And these were all treated with magnesium as well and they're doing really well. This one is in the shade most of the day and it's loving it. These leaves are huge. Pretty big. Over here, here's my 
strawberry plant and my cherry 100s. This is my lemon tree. I don't think I showed you yet. I make lemon curd out of these lemons and lemonade. Here we have all the beans. This is another thing you can start. Just like we did the onions yesterday. This is celery. And what you do is your store-bought celery, you just cut the end off, the, the celery heart, and you do the same thing. Just put it in water, let it root for about a week or so. It will look like it's decaying. Tear off the decay, plant it in, into dirt, and this will grow into a celery.